The world's largest lottery wheel? Revolution, which five years ago led to the overthrow of communism in Czechoslovakia, was taken as proof of the power of a mass popular uprising. But in the second of his reports from the Czech Republic, our foreign affairs editor John Simpson has uncovered new evidence, which reveals that the impetus behind the revolution came not from the Czech people, but from Moscow. The Czech and Slovak people won their freedom from communism in the most peaceful way possible, and the Velvet Revolution brought the dissident Václav Havel to power. A playwright and intellectual, now increasingly remote and isolated, but a man of great personal integrity. None of this would have happened if it hadn't been for the way the police handled the big demonstration of the 17th of November 1989. 500 demonstrators were injured and one was supposed to have been killed since that happened on the 50th anniversary of the murder of a Czech student by the Nazis, people were outraged. The demonstrations soon grew so big that communist power collapsed within days, even though it was soon clear that no one had been killed after all. It wasn't just a mistake, and now one member of the communist leadership at that time told us it was a deliberate plot to bring them down. I prefer to say that the coup d'etat took place here as in other former socialist countries. And indeed, after the revolution, a parliamentary commission found that there had been a plot. The key role was played by a young secret policeman, Lieutenant Zivchak, who posed as a student leader at the 17th of November demonstration. He was the one who pretended to have been killed. Zivchak himself told the commission all about it. It was a plot by the secret police, with the help of the Russians, to bring down the old hardline communist leaders and replace them with more moderate communists. I travelled to Slovakia to see the man who planned it all. General Alois Lorenz, as the head of the old Czechoslovak secret police, had never spoken about it publicly before. An animal lover, he was perhaps the cleverest spymaster in the communist bloc. Was there a coup d'etat? Myslím, že ano. I think yes, he replies, but he goes on, I find it amusing when people try to find documents about this kind of thing. Decisions like this don't exist on paper. You must feel very proud of what your organization did on the 17th of November. Yes, he says, I am proud of this. The reason he feels proud as he tends the cage birds he breeds is that thanks to him, the revolution against the communist hardliners passed off so peacefully. His plot failed, of course, because instead of putting moderate reformist communists in power, he simply ensured the collapse of communism here. But he accepts it all had a happy ending. John Simpson, BBC News, Prague.